I don't even know where to start on this one because we're going to be trying something different. I don't even know if this is going to work. This might be a giant fail, but if you ever use one of these injectors, it gets really hot from the plastisol. So we're going to try to put something around it so your hands don't get hot even through the gloves. It gets really hot to use. So let's try to figure this out. Let's go. Like I was actually going to hit the camera. Let's go. Things we might need, I have no idea. Things that I might be using. We have some high temperature heat resistant tape. We might need that. We have like a silicone mat, this, and that to measure with. Let's just go ahead and get started. We need to know the circumference of this thing. So it's about four and a half inches. So let's take our silicone mat out. I'll cut this open. All right, so maybe we don't buy silicone mats on Amazon because this is a lot like paper thin. I think this is actually made for a grill to cook on because it came with this and I'm guessing this is your brush or your for your grill. So we need to come over four and a half and I didn't bring anything to mark with. So let's just use these four and a half make a mark right there can you guys even kind of see that let's just come down here four and a half four and a half up here all right so now i'm just going to use my kindergarten skills and try to cut a straight line and we'll be back i'm going you can catch the wave that i am on i am i calling y'all a wide wall think that i'm gonna reconcile boss so ain't nothing to it though this is all me ain't got much to do with who you know keep it true to form 10 l's into a milli though but they are now that this is cut out it looks like it's about the right right length around but i think because i don't think we want to come all the way down because i don't think we want to put this into our plastisol so what i think i'm going to do is bring it around this way so now let's mark it here so let's put a little mark here and i think i'm actually let's see if you can focus i'm going to leave a little gap between because i want the tape to be on this metal whenever we tape it. I really don't think I want to overlap. So let's make a little mark down here. Let's cut this. Let's get that. There ain't nothing to it. Go ahead and bring a lot thorn. Ain't no giant. I ain't going fire on. Catch a fade you. I'm wrong. I'm gone. Y'all can catch the wave that I am on. I am icon. Y'all are wide wrong. Think that I'm a reconciled boss. There ain't nothing to it though. This is all me. Ain't got much to do with who you know. Keep it a true to form 10 L's into a milli though. But that's all right here's our heat temperature resistant tape i don't know if you can see this i end up getting this off of amazon i think this is actually made for automotive tape to tape up wiring and stuff like that in your car this may not actually even be sticky i don't know let's see if i can get this okay so this is actually pretty sticky let's what's the best way to do this actually let's cut a piece of tape first and tape it on here so all right and we're back let's see if this works so far I don't think I want it all the way at the top either. So maybe, maybe right here. Okay. Now, actually, I think I'm going to use this tape around the whole thing. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. And we'll fast forward through this. No, keep it a 
Home to the L's and to a milli though But they already knew that those for well to your opinions Know that he is so uh, This is all me, ain't got much to do with who you know Yeah, keeping it true to And there it is. Now I think we should give it a try and see, see if it works. You can still pop this off. We should be good. If Plastisol line gets up to here, we can go ahead and, I don't even know if I want to test it to see if it's going to peel off of that. But we should, we, we gave ourselves plenty of room. But yeah, that should should definitely help your hands from getting hot. Cause like I said, even when you had the gloves on, the plastisol was really hot. Okay, I have no idea what we're going to make. We'll probably use our four and a half inch finesse mold again, and we'll just mix something up real fast. All right, here's some of our clear plastisol, some of the older stuff that we had. We'll just go ahead and use this and throw some. I have some new flake that's kind of or what is it, color changing or kind of color shifting. So we'll give that a try and see, see how good it actually is. But for today's test, actually we'll go ahead and just use all of this. All right, I'll go through it in the microwave. All right, so while that is in the microwave, in case this does work really well and you guys are interested, this, I guess the, the mat underneath, it is a grill mat. Like I said, I got this on Amazon. So it's just a heat resistant grill mat for a cooking grill outside. This tape was, like I said, just an automotive heat resisting tape. And that is pretty much all I used. And I feel like it's going to work. Hopefully it does. But when the plastic all comes out, we'll give it a try. Let me show you the flake that we're going to use. So we have a green to purple color shifting flake. I don't know if we can get it to show up green or not. And this came straight from Hobby Lobby. Does it say the color shift color? Nope, but like I said, in the shade or kind of grayish green. But yep, this is what we're gonna use in the clear plastisol. Maybe, maybe we'll throw in a shimmer powder in there too. Let me take a look. I found a midnight blue powder I think will go well with it. So we'll put some of the midnight blue powder with it, some of our color shift, we'll grab the mold, and yeah, we'll be ready to see if that works. Plastisol is done. Let's clean up our workstation a little bit. Let's, since you guys know what we use now, we'll just get this out of the way. All right. Let's make some baits, figure out what we're gonna do. What is this, our midnight? Midnight, oh my gosh, I do this every time. Can you guys see the shimmer? Maybe, let's see if I can zoom in. Cause I know this is hard to see on camera. Focus. So this stuff does have a a shimmer. All right, let's just yarn here to look at my fingers. Let's get some of this powder in there. Okay, should be good. Let's get some of our flake in there. Let's get quite a bit of it. There we go. Mm, stir it up. Oh yeah, this this will look good. I almost think we need a little more flake or powder. Let's add a little more flake. Mm. 
Okay, I'm going to throw this back in the microwave and we'll try and see if the injector works. Okay. Here we go. Well, the first one turned out kind of a mess. Let's see if we can redeem ourselves on this one. I can feel it starting to get warm, but it's not, not extremely hot to wear. I can hardly touch it. Even before with gloves on, I'd kind of have to move my fingers around. And we are done. Right. Let's take a temperature test real fast. Let's set this here. Well, I don't want to really set it down. So that's 131. This is showing around 115, 108. So it's a little, a little cooler. Maybe I'll do one more batch and I'll have my gloves off when I'm doing this just to see. Yeah, like I said, it's definitely. Yeah, see that's usually what it feels like. This is a, this is manageable for sure. So yeah, this, yeah, I like this. This definitely worked. If you have an injector that gets really hot, yeah, this is gonna be nice. And I, like I said, I still have plenty of the silicone and tape that if I guess this effort does get bad, I can just easily replace it and it was pretty cheap to do. All right, we'll wait and see what these look like. Well, I guess let's see. See how this is gonna work. That's still a little warm, but like I said, this is definitely cool now. Um, let me get my container back out and we'll throw this back in and reheat it up. So that's kind of what our lures are gonna look like. I almost think I need a little more shimmer. And then what I usually do is just take my finger, clean out the inside. And there it is. Ready to go again. All right, let's take a look at these guys. See if we can just pull this off. And let's lift it up. Okay. Well, I would say I like the color, but you can't, there's not much color shift in the flake of the worm itself. You can't really, maybe if I move it around away from the camera, take in some shadows or, but from right here, I don't see much color shift happening. Let's take some of these out and look. I said it definitely looks good, but not really. You don't see the color shift happening as much. Like I said, either I need a lot more glitter or a lot more flake or Or I should have used black and not blue. But anyways, I mean, like I said, these do look really good though. These will be for sale, as you guys know, on 99strikes.com. These things will definitely catch us some fish. All right, like I said, well, I'm going to pour five more without gloves on, just to see if I can stand the, the temperature of it. All right, let's go ahead and pour five more. Usually by the third one is when it's almost too hot to touch. 
Can you guys, yeah, you guys can see. It is, I wouldn't even say it's warm. I can just feel heat from it, but it's like I said, it's really manageable. It's not that bad at all. Let's move that. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to do this. So yeah, it, like I said, that definitely worked. If you have an injector, you need to try this out. I'm going to have to trim some of these from kind of hurrying, but that's fine. That's pretty easy to do. Let's take some more of these out. Like I said, pretty much the only reason we did the second batch was to see how hot it was and if I could actually do it with my hands, which it was pretty easy to do. And these, like I said, again, are looking really good. If you'd like to pick some of these up, you can get them at 99strikes.com. We're gonna do, I might as well just do a giveaway because there's no way I'm going to use a giant roll of this, what was it? Whatever this is called. Um, what was it? Silicone, there we go. There's no way I want to use a giant roll of this silicone all of this tape. So if you guys have an injector, leave a comment below and or follow me on Instagram and Facebook and yeah, I'll send this to one of you guys. So just message me somehow why you want it or even if you want it, because there's a lot here that I'm never gonna use. And if you want to, of course, after this video, you'll see a close up of these lures which look even better in person. Like I said, it's so hard to pick up this shimmer on camera. It just, it doesn't work. They look way better in person. If you would like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And next time we're probably going to be giving away some free lures only because we have a lot of leftover Plastisol. We have this here and and we have all of this Plastisol up here. So this is going to be our next giveaway. Usually we do this monthly. And since it's pretty much the beginning of the month, we'll go ahead and melt some of this down, mix it together. Oh, I already forgot where I was at. What I say something about, we're gonna melt it down, mix it together. We'll give it to one of you guys, to one of the subscribers. So like this video, subscribe below. Next time, maybe we'll do some of those colors, we'll dump them into the same container. As you can, I have one hand now because I, my tripod is somewhere right there. So, yep, that's it for this video. Stay tuned, watch the next one. It'll be coming out soon. Thanks for watching. This is all me, ain't got much to do with who you know Keeping it true to form, turn the L's into a milli though But they already knew that those for well to your opinions Know that he is so This is all me, ain't got much to do with who you know Yeah, keeping it true to form, but they already knew that y'all